Okay, so for the zigzagger, this is the automatic zigzagger made by Singer. It's an attachment and I've attached it to my Singer Featherweight 222. It comes with a little screw um, already built into it. You can set the um, stitch width, which they call the bite, B-I-G-H-T, by this um, knob right here. And there's um, wide and narrow. It's hard for me to see. Yeah, this is more narrow and that's wide. And then you can switch the stitch, patter, stitch patterns um, based upon the cams, whether they're red, white, blue, or yellow. Right now I just have a traditional zigzag stitch in there. Because I'm doing applique, um, the tension on my tension unit is set to a, almost two. Um, you want a real loose tension for applique. My stitch length um, is, you know, with the lever that goes up and down for reverse. That is set at about 20 stitches per inch, um, but you can adjust it however you need to. I have my stitch pretty narrow because I'm working with a very small um, applique piece. This is a featherweight. Uh, we will be featuring this on our website soon, um, but it's and they're prefusible. But anyway, so for this sample, I wanted to show how this automatic zigzagger was used. So the applique is already fused with a stabilizer, a fusible web. And as you can see from the attachment, it's moving the fabric back and forth. And I'm wanting to go pretty slow, so I'm kind of moving my foot with the foot controller, so that's why I'm getting various speeds. And then plus I'm approaching a curve. So when you approach a curve like this, you want your needle on the outside of the curve, and then you just kind of slightly lift and adjust. Make a couple stitches. And then you're going to adjust again. Lift and turn again. This is a low shank zigzagger. So on this fork arm right here, which goes over the needle bar, it says straight needle. Okay, sorry, I had a really bad tickle in my throat and had to pause it there. Okay, so I'm just kind of slowly working my way around this tiny curve, and as you can see, I'm doing a pretty narrow applique stitch. So I get right in that corner. And then I'm going to make a couple of stitches just to tack it, just so I can make that corner. And then I can commence on a straight a lot easier. And if it gets just a hair off, you can kind of turn and adjust it. But this is how you use the automatic zigzagger attachment on a Singer featherweight or any straight stitch um, old vintage Singer sewing machine. I'll show you this curve one more time. So you just kind of lift, take a couple tacks, Lift, turn, take a couple tacks, and then I'll work my way around, and then I'll show you the finished product when it's all done. Okay, so we're on the last stretch. I'm on the inside. I've already done this inside here between the belt and the machine, and now I'm on this last part, 
coming down this side. tack it a little bit but it does shift the fabric quite a bit so then you want to trim your threads and then I'll pull this out and show you what it looks like um, and even on the back so you can see that too okay so here's the back and I'll show you that first so this kind of gives you um, a good clear view too if you missed any spots especially with the contrast of black thread you know, like right here, I could probably go back and tack that just a little bit more. And same with right there. Um, but for other than that, it did pretty good. So, okay, now we'll flip it over. And you can see that this is a um, about a three and a half inch featherweight from from side all the way to the from the tip all the way over to here. Um, I've appliqued that onto this little piece of fabric. So that's how it's done.